the Kansas City Chiefs continued their unbeaten streak with a solid 28-18 win over the San Francisco 49ers, solidifying their spot as the NFL's last remaining undefeated team. But amid the jubilation, there was one glaring absence on the field, Travis Kelsey's usual spark. With girlfriend Taylor Swift cheering from afar in Miami, the star tight end once again struggled to make an impact, leaving fans to wonder if her presence has been the secret to his success. In a Super Bowl rematch that lived up to its hype, the Kansas City Chiefs asserted their dominance over the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday. It was a gritty, hard-fought contest, with Kansas City showcasing their balanced offense and defense to emerge victorious. Leading the charge was Kareem Hunt, who powered through the 49ers' defense for two first-half touchdowns. Despite the Chiefs' commanding win, the spotlight wasn't on Hunt or even on quarterback Patrick Mahomes, who delivered clutch plays when it mattered most. Instead, all eyes were on Travis Kelsey, who struggled to find his rhythm without the support of his high-profile partner, Taylor Swift, cheering from the stands. The question remains, how much of a factor has Swift been in Kelsey's on-field performances? The Chiefs' path to victory wasn't a smooth one. Patrick Mahomes, known for his surgical precision, had a rare off day in the passing game, completing just 16 of 27 passes for 154 yards and throwing two uncharacteristic interceptions. However, Mahomes showcased his versatility and grit, compensating for his aerial struggles by pulling off a career-high 33-yard run that set up a crucial fourth-quarter touchdown. In a moment that typified his determination, Mahomes bulldozed through a Niners defender, clearing the way for a one-yard rushing touchdown on fourth down, putting Kansas City up 21-12 early in the final quarter. It was the kind of leadership that has come to define the Chiefs in the Mahomes era. But while Mahomes had his heroic moments, Travis Kelsey's performance was once again muted. With Taylor Swift continuing her era's tour in Miami, Kelsey's impact was minimal, raising questions about his form whenever she's not in attendance. Whether it's just a coincidence or a sign of a deeper psychological boost Swift provides, the numbers don't lie. Kelsey has been less productive on the field without her in the crowd, and Sunday was no exception. As the Chiefs continue their unbeaten run, they may need their star tight end to find his groove, with or without the boost from pop culture's biggest icon. While the Chiefs executed what it mattered, the 49ers were left lamenting missed opportunities. Quarterback Brock Purdy managed 212 yards on 17 completions but was undone by a trio of interceptions that halted promising drives. Two of those came during potential scoring situations, dashing any hopes the Niners had of staging a comeback. The frustration boiled over late in the game when San Francisco's offensive lineman Trent Williams was ejected for an outburst that saw him punch Chiefs safety Brian Cook. It was a moment emblematic of a team struggling to keep their composure against a superior opponent. San Francisco's woes were compounded by a harrowing injury to wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. Carted off in the first half, Ayuk's leg injury looked serious, with head coach Kyle Shanahan hinting at a potentially season-ending torn ACL. Without Ayuk's dynamic presence, the Niners' offense lacked a spark, and although Purdy managed to add a pair of one-yard touchdown runs, it wasn't enough to overcome the Chiefs' consistent and methodical play. Despite pulling within two points in the third quarter, the 49ers couldn't sustain their momentum. After a crucial interception by Chris Roland Wallace, the Chiefs methodically chewed up the clock with a 7-minute, 79-yard drive capped by Mahomes' determined rushing touchdown. Meckle Hardman sealed the deal later with an 18-yard touchdown run on a jet sweep, leaving the Niners scrambling with no time left to mount a meaningful comeback. Kareem Hunt's contribution to the Chiefs' victory was vital. With 78 yards on 22 carries, his two touchdowns in the second quarter helped establish an early lead, allowing Kansas City to dictate the tempo. The Chiefs' ground game was particularly impressive, outrushing the 49ers 184-101, and their ability to control the clock for more than 35 minutes ensured San Francisco had little chance to stage a meaningful rally. Despite a shaky passing game, Kansas City's balance on offense and their suffocating defense kept the 49ers in check, proving once again why they remain the team to beat this season. As the dust settles on another thrilling week of NFL action, the Kansas City Chiefs emerge as the league's lone unbeaten team, continuing their march towards what could be another historic season. 
but beneath the celebration, there are questions that linger, chiefly about Travis Kelsey's struggles without Taylor Swift in attendance. Whether it's coincidence or causality, the Chiefs will need their star tight end firing on all cylinders as they aim for another Super Bowl run. For now, Kansas City fans can take solace in knowing that even on an off day, their team has the grit, resilience, and playmakers needed to pull off big wins. Meanwhile, the 49ers are left to regroup, dealing with the loss of Brandon Ayuk and the reality of an inconsistent offense. If this game was any indication, the road back to the Super Bowl will be a difficult one for San Francisco, especially with the Chiefs standing tall at the top.